I have a feeling um, what we saw in the demo is based essentially the intro to the game, so we're going to be pretty much replaying through that section. Oh boy. If it still maintains to 60 frames per second and it's, lo it's like graphics, I would be fucking impressed because remember, that was just a demo. Like, as much as I was mind-blowing, I had to realize that was just a demo and I had to remember, like, if that game really is on the Wii U disc itself, that would be fucking impressive, but I still have to be a little bit skeptical about it. Yeah, the cut- we've seen this- cut. did we see this cut being before? I- what the hell? <laughs> Zooms in right into her- <laughs> Oh, they love those vagina shots, don't they? What the fuck is this? Oh shit. So it's like the intro again, all over again. A legend from the dawn of time. So it's still 60 frames per second, thank god. Where the world came from. A struggle caused the Trinity Ooh. realities to be split into Oh, I don't have witch time yet, I'm guessing. Light, darkness, and I can't control the camera either, so yeah, this is like the uh, original. You start off by battling these guys along with your friend Jean. Ah oh, shit. Most of all, ours. I really want to know uh, and see a comparison between this game. I know the first game's included. By the way, the first game's included with a disc, which is pretty fucking amazing. But uh, yeah, the game is being included with a disc of the first Bayonetta game on the Wii U. I really want to see the comparison between this, the Wii U version, the 360 version, and the PS3 version. Um, yeah, I bought the PS3 version uh, soon, um, like the day before its release date. Or was it two days before it's released? I don't remember. What the fuck? Why am I in this thing? <laughs> Any? Okay, why not? Where we only see reality and make it match our rules of the world. I think they're. And those visions became our. They are recapping what happened in Bayonetta One, or what? Aesir's eyes were truly the eyes that created the world. However. Aesir pitied the humans for their naivete and lack of free will. So okay. It was split into two equal halves and entrusted each to humanity's instincts. The right eye of light and the left eye of darkness. Okay. Basically one represents um, the angels and the other represents the devil, I just know that. Unlike the first game, in this game you, I believe you fight against both the angels and demons, so... I mean, of course, we fought both angels and demons in the demo version, didn't we? So... Am I on Ember in which mode, or what? I'm seriously fucking surprised how this game still runs at 60 frames per second, like... This is what you mean... This is how you make a third-party exclusive ga games, guys, like... You make sure you pour every single juice... Oh out of its system and this definitely shows the inheritors of the eyes of Aesir have been granted the power of creation if anything it probably looks better than any third party game i played on the ps4 oh yeah i said it this shit looks fucking awesome and it's a lot better than say watch dogs <laughs> come at me bitches all right Cheeky. No one bothered telling me any of your kind survived. Not much of a talker, eh? Oh! Oh! That did not hit him or kill him. <laughs> Does like the Metal Gear Rising chin thing again. If only she had like a metallic chin. <laughs> the last sage I met spent 20 minutes rambling on and on. <laughs> what? For what? Who are you? Present day? 
So, wait, this is, is this like exactly where Bayonetta 1 left off? That's his, that's her father, I think. Is it? Isn't it? You will not escape this fate. We will perish together. <laughs> My dear sweet child, at last you have fulfilled your promise to me. Be oh. not, for I am always watching over you. Okay. Man, I should have replayed Bayonetta 1. The white eye of light was lost from the world forever. Along with its possessor, the last of the Lumen Sages. Oh. But he used, he used the monocle on his left eye. There's a fucking achievement! <laughs> there's a fucking achievement system on the Wii U and there's... Oh, man. What? Record the time, the end? Prologue, or okay, what the fuck is this? Which one do you want me to play, the end or the prologue? I'll, put, I'll trade playing the prologue. This doesn't repeat me all the way to the same level again, does it? I'm assuming it doesn't. Hopefully. <laughs> Bayonet is supposed to be here, but... Emphasizing because we didn't play as her yet, then she does not appear yet. That's my guess, at least. Yeah, I can't even attack or anything. No sound effects. So I'm just basically like a first person person walking around the shit. Hmm. Where the hell is this? Oh, this is gonna get destroyed. I just know it. This is Christmas or something? <laughs> Sega! Aww. Yeah, there's no way this game's gonna be ported to PS4. <laughs> Sorry, but keep your hopes up. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> this is nice looking. Supervisor Hideki Kamiya. Hideki Kamiya is like the guy. That is that Enzo? Uh, what? I heard. Was that the wonderful one on one theme I just heard? That's nice. Oh. <laughs> uh, Enzo is like her slave or something. You don't mind if we make a quick stop, do you? Do you know what day's coming up? Here I was shopping, minding my own business, then you show up and turn me into a damn porter. Seriously, <laughs> Bayonetta, you still haven't paid me back for the car. <laughs> hey, whoa! I'll get to that later. Anyway, to speak to an old friend. Besides, I did that job for you. For free, my dad. Do I really have to tell everyone how you grabbed onto my leg sobbing like a schoolboy? <laughs> <sighs> Where in her? I can't have good things. You're some piece of work, you know that? You know, she's exposing surprisingly some skin. And that's not connected to her. Well, it is connected to her body. Did she dye her armpits white or something? Because I know her hair does not come out of her head this time, it comes out of her other unmentionables. Inferno, you witches go to if you break the contract. Forget about it. I don't want the fucking wing bastards all damn day! Oh, hey. Nice job, you just lost her. Ugh. But what the fuck you wasting your time trying to send some schmucks off to the afterlife for? Oh yeah, I forgot Bayonetta's like invisible, right? At least to everyone. There's only like certain people that could see her. If I don't get what I came for, I'm gonna be the biggest mutt in the city! <laughs> what is it that you came to fetch, my dear? Eh, real funny. I know better than to tell you a damn thing. I'll never hear the fucking end of it. Oh, shit! Hello, Ja! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this game's already gorgeous. 
Not just gorgeous looking, but... <laughs> nice job. Nice job, Enzo. You fucking... You fucking fuck up. To see you in the city. Just had something I had to look into. You haven't felt anything strange. The comedic humor is still there. I still haven't quite figured out how a broke, bumbling wise guy managed to turn himself into a semi-respectable family man. <laughs> Forget about it. Wait, what? Is he married? You're about as sweet as my Nona's grappa, you know that? <laughs> Some witch with amnesia goes around calling herself a weapon, and it turns out she really got stuck with a kid's nickname. That shit's rich, I tell you what. <laughs> Our friends and parents. Clearly, you have not played Bayonetta 1. I'm sure you've noticed. Enza does not know shit about what happened. But they aren't the only ones. Pray tell. Our friends down south seem to be a bit upset as well. Oh. The annual holiday parade is being held today. City police have closed off roads to prepare for the massive influx of merrymakers expected to take in this year's festivities. Set to be headlined by a flyover from the military's aerial acrobatics unit. What the fuck? That's some attack pilots you got there. Think shit's about to go down? The Platinum Stars! Crap. We need to hurry up and get Ed and Edna's presents, or I'm gonna get it. So what, is he actually married? When did you become a family man, Enzo? Don't forget to pick up the things for the party. Oh, this should be fun. This is <laughs> They can't see her, but they can still feel the effects from her. So is it like just a motorcycle? Can they also see the motorcycle? I don't even. Who cares? What's the matter with you? I told you what I'm after. I'm Is that Mario? <laughs> He's wearing a blue overalls, kind of, a little bit. Flies in the sky. No, I'm not buying any damned angels. Yellow, blue. I don't care what color they are. I learned my lesson with those bastards. You hear me? Just a normal damn jet, please. You hear that? I want one of those. It's flying in the air right now. There, that's the one. That's the biggest one you got in the store, right? Wrap it up nice, will you? It's a present for God's sakes. It's a pretty fucking big present. Yo! You know what? Screw the pretty ribbon. Just hurry up and put it in the box, will ya? <laughs> Is this where the sexiness comes in? <laughs> this seems to be like a really huge love letter to all those Bayonetta fans. Including myself, obviously. Aw, the dress is dirty! Thanks a lot, fucking angels! Alright, bring it on, bitches. Let me just go... <laughs> so this is the start of... Still knows how to make it in. <laughs> oh god damn I Whoa she was full on Nick Does she have nipples? I can't tell if she has nipples on <laughs> Oh that What the fuck Bayonetta please tell me you're not a furry too <laughs> Gosh, she's awesome. <laughs> Thank God they didn't put this in the cutscene, otherwise I would have been really spoiled. <laughs> oh shit!
God, I can't wait to show these to my friends.